Previously on Steins Gate. My, my daughter? Amanesi is my daugher? Or why not? Point is that to do it while flapping his lips like a fish out of war. Oh, but I just asked her to make out with me earlier. Oh. And now back to fucking up history. Hello! The Snicko B. Back with some more Steins Gate. We last left off, we went through some motherfucking soul crushing shit. Like, ah, God. Why, the ups in this game are so up, and the downs in this game are so down. It's like, oh god, that was mind, body, and soul crushing. Just can't, ah, uh, ah, uh, so many feels. It hurt my insides. But the good news, well, actually, no, actually, no good news yet, because we're probably about to die again. Because <laughs> now the bomb threat's coming, and Wei is gonna come in and kill Mariuri, and then Okabe's gonna flip shit and probably murder everybody. Jump back in time and. Just do it all over again. Again and again and again and again forever. You know, actually just kind of hit me. Why are these guys smiling in this TV? I mean, there's like, we're like, we're they're like, hey guys, guess what? A terrorist bomb threat suspends y Yamano Sabu and Kai and Toku lines. Like they're just like really happy about it. Why are you guys smiling? This isn't happy. You're about to die. Uh, anyway, uh, bomb threats, bomb threats suspends Yamano Sabu and Kai Damn, because maybe we'll be here any minute. Fuck my balls! So time to think. No time to hesitate. Just I run downstairs, bring it around to work out, turn on the board to and CRT. Oh, good, okay. I'm glad he's not like, well, maybe this time I'll No, don't don't even try it again, man. I don't want to see me already die like for the 18th time. Then I return to the lab and activate the time leap machine. What are you doing, Akabe? Kirsty demands answers, I can see fear in her eyes. You can't just leave it like this. I have to do something. Okabe. <laughs> but Green, are you sure? <laughs> Mary, I'm totally sure. Anyway, you're, you, you, you're gonna be dead in about like three minutes, so... Don't try to stop me, Mary! I can't let this stand. There are two options. I canceled the email that convinced me to presume Suzu, Suzuha sending a contract to emails to do the trick. Or a time leave again to prevent Zuha from leaving. Two options. But really just one. Do not hesitate at Kame Rattar. Hesitation is unforgivable. You already know what you must do. Stop pursuit. Last mail. A certain trap. That should be enough to convince me to let Suzuha go. Greasy, you're good at remembering dates, aren't you? Oh, well, sure. When did we throw that party for Suzuha? Four days ago, on August 9th. You're sending a email, Grief, but won't that make everything disappear? Four days. I mean, that sounds like much, but in that time, we were forced to de definitely bond with Suzuha. I had learned valuable life lessons. I can't let that, can't let that, really let that go. So this demails to sever that bond. I know that, I know that. But this is the only choice I have. Yeah, I mean, might sever the bond, but it's also saving Suzua from uh, fucking mur from fucking killing herself or, and all those years of, uh, you know, realizing that she uh, wasn't, didn't do what she was supposed to do. I said the phone waved 120 hours ago. This demail should arrive a few hours after the first. Now I just need to send it. Save me, Yuri. That is my purpose. It's what drove me to leap through time. I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Do it. Stop the microwave. Start. This discharge begins immediately. Place my thumb on the send button. Are you sure? Yuri's voice is choked with tears. Our memory is as some of disappears. Is that really okay? Mayor slashed through my head. Being with you guys in just a little while was great. I know it's sad, but I mean, can we like, maybe we can forge another bond, you know? We just kind of do it again, but, uh, well, no, she's gonna, well, that's, no, she's gonna leave. <laughs> no, wait, Nico, remember she's late. Oh, yeah, that's right. She, this is gonna make her actually leave the place. But will this really fix things, you know? I'm gonna finish where you started, Dad, I promise. We'll see you in 35 years, though I guess it'll only be a few hours for you guys. Ah! <laughs> Change the future, please. So I made my choice. I won't ask you for, for your forgiveness. Ultimately, I'm doing this to save me, Yuri. But at the same time, the words you spoke on the rooftop are so strong in my heart. You trust me in your hope for the future. If I'm not on that wish and fulfill mine, then the times that we spent together could never have happened. Holy Lord! Oh, there we go. Divergence fi when it finally went back up again. <sighs> Metaphysics necrosis end. Chapter 7, Maiden Complex. 
Seems already complex enough. Whoa. Mm, yummy, yummy. I'm drinking chai tea while playing this game. It's really good. The world shatters in geometric shapes that expand and contract like rubber toys. Light gathers between my eyes. Stars explode behind my eyelids. Gra gradually, color returns to the world. Okay, so I sent. So instead of time leaping, I just sent a D, a D mail. Okay, interesting. Ah! Wait for the vertigo to pass. Cold sweat oozes from my temples. Wait. Let me check. Any new messages? I've never seen it get, come here and have, like, new shit. Cold sweat oozes from my temples. Pressing my fists against them, I slowly force the air out of my lungs. As the world line changed, I to the lounge in order to check that emergence meter. It's gone. Oh, right, because she didn't... Because if she did leave, that means that, uh... We didn't, um, she didn't, we didn't meet up and she didn't meet the divergence meter. I took the meter a few minutes ago, but just before the world line changed. Now it's nowhere to be found. Will you realize what has happened? So he gave me the meter after we stopped her from leaving. My D-mail undid those events. Of course, the meter isn't here. Surge of regret seized my heart. I clenched my teeth and endured as best I can. Nobody else remembers that I alone will keep those memories of Suzuka alive. Look around the room. Okay, but that probably means... The IBM 51 is here, is in here, right? Because that means she did go back and probably dropped it off the Yanabashi Shrine, right? That's what I'm assuming, at least. Look around the room. Yuri and Kreese are on the sofa, dozing on each other's shoulders. Daru, oblivious to the vulnerable high school girls behind him, is playing in a rogue on his computer. Ah! <laughs> I take a deep breath and turn on the TV. Flip to a news channel. The world line should have changed. Or it's the time we swim with Suzuka that should have allowed her to leap to 1975 without her losing memories, and the IBM 51 it should be in our hands right now. We used to hack and discern, erase the data they intercept from us. That without that information, we men won't attack the lab, or we won't have to die. That's how it should be. That's how it has to be. Otherwise, why did I sacrifice Suzuka's dream? Quickest way to confirm that you the change would be to check for any delays at Akiya Bar Station. Daro's the Yamanoto Yamanote line stopped. Huh? Uh, I don't think so. Check online. Wait, I'm at the best part. Oh. <laughs> Sushi Chan's just about to rub her boobies against Mizu Chan. Shut up, I don't care. Please. Dar size and calls up train information. Hmm, doesn't look like it stopped. Thanks. Word line has changed, which means that our IBM 51 should be in the development room. I probably should have looked at that. That should have been the first thing I looked for when I got here. I back there to search for it. But contrary to my expectations, I can't find it anywhere. What? Ah. Uh, well. Oh my god. This is getting fucking confusing. What's going on? On my watch, it's 7.43 p.m. We well, get some men attack it. What time again? I was pounding like a drum. d is supposed to fix everything. The trains are moving as scheduled, which means Moeka's men aren't about to attack. Yeah. But then... If that's the case, that means Mir is still gonna die some other way. <laughs> what? Dara just slips and falls on top of Miri and kills her that way. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh God! I slipped on one of Miri's bananas. Ah! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Fate. I feel like nothing's fixed at all. The IBM 5100's absence is extremely disturbing. Yeah. I, I thought we would have gotten it back again. I figured it was it'd be at the shrine, but now everything's so just like convoluted. Now I I don't know what to think anymore. You know, maybe because we changed a bunch of other things now that. We didn't go to Yanabayashi Shrine? I don't fucking know. I want to sit down and think about where it could have gone, but a voice in my head is screaming there's, there's no time. I need to calm down. It's hard to think straight after everything that's happened. Check my watch again. 746. Images from the assault flashed through my mind. We were bleeding to death on the floor, the smell of gunpowder in the air. I finally shake the visions out of my head. Look towards the lab entrance. The door's yet to be kicked in by a team of hitmen. Saw the horror petrified with terror. Please don't let anything happen. It's past nine. Be the street through the window. Nobody's there. Are you waiting for someone? You keep looking out the window. I was right. I've probably looked out the window 20 times in the past hour. Not a suspicious figure in sight. Moega's men still haven't appeared. Three of us before eight, if I remember correctly. I think it's safe to, safe to say that, that my changes to the past have prevented from occurring. So a sacrifice was not in vain. I let out a deep breath. I'm sweating and disgusting. It's like my anxiety has pushed all the sweat out of my body. <laughs> yeah. Yuri, Karisu. <laughs> Two girls woke up from their nap at about half an hour ago. Now they're eating cup noodles. 
<laughs> Muri's nom nom nomming. Nom 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 nom. Wait, did you say my name correctly? <laughs> she looks at me in astonishment, like she can't believe her ears. Wait, didn't? No, I was like, wait, didn't we have our bonding? Th no, we didn't have that bonding experience either, because. Oh my god. Oh. What does that mean in. If I change the timeline here, that means Miyuri. When, yeah, because. Oh man, that is really fucking confusing. That means that none of those deaths to the one. T happened. To, none of those deaths to Miyuri ever happened uh, to the Akabe in the past because it happened. Because I sent a message before any of that occurred. So. I guess. Right? You know what I mean? Like, I was expecting maybe I'd send it back, and I still had that conversation about trying to save Miuria with Garisu, but I, that never happened. That means that I bypassed all that. When you're not eating, go home. It's late, so I'll go with you. Okie dokie. I don't need an escort from you. I can get back myself. Just listen, Dar, you too. Huh? Me too. I want Miuria to stay here. You're not going anywhere, Miuri. Hey, look, there's a little anime thing up there. Is that also a reference to the previous game? And there's little, <laughs> little like a little frog, a little uh, cat, kitty thing in the top right. Those oopas. Drain lines running through a gear bar are operating normally. There's no bomb scare, no sign of Mueko or her men. Degrees is taking the Sobu line to the next station, Ocho no Mizu, while Daro's going the opposite way to Shin Koiya. It's weird. So we we have the IBM 5100, but we, I mean, we don't have the IBM 5100, but Moika stopped her attack. Why? I take the Yamanote line to Ikio Makuro, so we part of the station's ticket gate. Uh, you guys ever had chai tea? It's really fucking good. Mm. It's good for the soul. I need to mend my soul after last last video. Uh, okay, I finished my chai tea. Now I can stop pausing to drink. They're surprising if you pass those train. I guess most of those, the salary men are off, off for the Oban holiday. The thing is, though, the divergence hasn't changed drastically yet, so that means Miyuri still is gonna die somehow, right? Mary's playing a handheld game, the Rydnet Kakuru action RPG. <laughs> oh, I wanna play that. On screen, her character is battling a gigantic Oopa. Oh no! I stand beside her and gaze at her profile, lost in thought. Sign the 13th, and Miyuri's still alive. How many times have I watched her die? How many times have I ta tasted that despair? Oh! No matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't save that ditzy childhood friend of mine from death. She died again and again, right before my eyes. But now she's alive, staying beside me, playing a game. This is why I sacrificed our memories to Susua. It was the only way. I'm sorry, Susua. And thank you. Susua no longer exists in this time, but I hope my feelings will reach her all the same. Actually, come to think of it, why can't I tell her in person? Where in Akiba could 50 year old Susua be? Oh, yeah, that's true. I'll try asking Tenoji tomorrow. He probably knows Suzuo on this world line too. Hopefully she didn't kill herself or die in some other way. I wonder if Suzuo remembers me. Hey, Okuri! <laughs> suddenly, uh, Miyari suddenly lifts her head. She looks at me hesitantly. Her cheeks are slightly pink. W what? Come on, Okuri. You just get nervous when you stare at her like that. <laughs> <laughs> I keep waiting. I'm sorry. I just keep waiting for you to like fucking explode or something. I mean, you get a game over. Yeah. Sorry about that. Apologize, but keep, but I keep looking at him. <laughs> Instead of staring, starting a new game, Yuri looks at me with concern. There's something different about you today, Okarine. Really? Yeah. What's wrong? Remind myself, remind myself that Miyuri is more perceptive than she seems. She proved that when she figured out what that Dara was to do his father. Don't worry. I don't want her to worry too much. I want Yuri to smile her usual ditzy smile without a care in the world. For all, so it's over now. She's safe. Uh, don't tell yourself that, man. Just stop. Uh, I, I would be like, at least for like a next few days, I would be fucking on edge all like all the time. Like, I would be, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go anywhere without Miuri. Oh, Kareem, why are you find Miuri into the bathroom? No, nah, no reason. I'm just uh, maybe to hand you the toilet paper. Oh, that's a good idea. That's so great. Sure. Wow. You really are. Does he know? Uh, <laughs> this isn't normal behavior, and don't do this with anybody else. <laughs> Nothing wrong, and I wasn't looking to you, at you just now. I was devising new ways to bring chaos to the world. <laughs> really? You seem kind of tired. Mad scientists is never tired. The mighty gray cells of my 170 IQ brain are always roaring calculations day and night. Oh, but you should still take a break every now and then. Please, O'Green, for me. 
We said that Miri returns to her game. I feel cold stares all around me, but I don't give a fucking shit. <laughs> Miri's here with me, doing everyday Miri things, ordinary things. Everything's going back to normal. We're actually gonna... Oh my god, we made it to the fucking... <laughs> I don't believe it, we made it to the 14th, we're... She's still alive! Fuck yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome! How... I don't know how that's possible, but... Awesome! I... I thought Suzuha said the only way to have Miri live was if we made the Divergence go... If we got to, the, like, a beta or alpha word line or whatever. Yes, it was my first time home in a while, so I slept like a log in my comfortable bed. It could be because of my mental exhaustion, but that was... But that was my best night's sleep in a while. Before heading up to the lab, I stop and stare at the Bronze Tube Workshop. The familiar mountain bike is gone. Suzuha likes it so much, she insisted on bringing it with her to 1975. I wonder if I wonder if then when we meet her again, if she'll have that bike with her. You know, I mean that like I I'll recognize the bike somewhere and I'll know like oh she must be in here or something. <laughs> Assuming that bike is not very common or something. Workshop door opens and out comes Mr. Braun rubbing his eyes sleepily. Akabe, you got free time? How about a job? A special offer will hire you for one CRT a month. <laughs> one CRT a month. So for one month's work, I get an old television. Fucking great. <laughs> Hell no. When did Zua quit again? Zua, who the hell's that? What? 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 Was her existence erased completely? But that's impossible. Ain't got time to remember the name of some lazy part-timer who quit just after 10... Oh, okay. I was like, no. Don't do that to me, man. You're about to, you're about to mind fuck me into oblivion. And I'm just going to be dead here. And the recording would just keep going on forever. <laughs> Damn you and your misleading words. So it didn't work. Did work here. The fact that the evidence of Sue's sojourn in 2010 still remains on this word line. And I thought I finally had some help for a change. That's what I hate about you, damn kids. No dedication. Especially like about lying about liking CRTs too. Got me good. Denoji shrugs his shrugs his shoulders, annoyed. Actually, he doesn't know about Sue's true identity. Does the name Ashita Suzu ring a bell? At this, Denoji's eyes go wide. Haven't heard that name in a long time. You knew her? Eh. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you heard uh, uh, Kabe's heart thump to that because she said, you knew her, right? Oh, no. Knew her? So now she's... It's been 10 years already, huh? 10 years? 10 years since what? No. I don't want to know the answer. Tenoji has a faraway look in his eyes as if he's gazing into the past. She really helped me out. What are you talking about her in past tense? She had any relatives, not that I knew of. Wish I could have been with her at the end. At the end? There's only one thing that can mean. Another word line changed. Suzuha didn't survive to the year 2010. Tell you the truth, though, she looked peaceful when I found her. She, pe peaceful? She didn't commit suicide? Suicide? Who the hell told you that? Suzu, Suzu-san was sick. Don't believe any old, old thing you hear. She was sick. Like sickness killed her? I shouldn't feel good about that. But I guess he says better than what happened before the word line changed. Yeah, but... Man. Fate is out to get us, isn't it? Like, god damn. That's what I tell myself anyway. So how'd you know Suzu-san? She helped me out too, a long time ago. I was hoping to see her again. Yeah. I'm living in your old house now. Want to come pay your respects at, at the altar? And not without a moment's hesitation. Tenoji closes up shop and we head to office towards his house. From Chiwadori, we head towards the station. I, I scan the Akiba scenery as we walk. Midway stores are still nowhere to be found on this world line. After a little hesitation, I look up at Ryo Kaiken. Yep, it's gone. Satellite has vanished. All that's left is the hole that made it when it arrived in this time. When did the satellite disappear? Uh, about five days ago? You never know what's gonna happen, huh? Which means Zua left it before it rained. Like Tenoji said, his house is closer than expected. We take the train to the next station, okay, Okachimachi, and then walk for about five minutes to a quiet residential area. Oh, there's her bike. This old one-story house is where Suzuha once lived. Walked up to the front of the house, and there I see a familiar sight. 
Suzuwa's bicycle. For a moment, I could see her squatting beside the bicycle. The mountain bike Suzuwa rode to the Bronte workshop was shiny and new. Now it's old and covered in rust. Suzu-san loved that old thing. I'm surprised he's not like... I would be sort of like, huh, that's kind of weird. She has the same name as that person that worked for... <laughs> this person that worked for me. And she has the same bike. Huh. What a weird coincidence, I would say to myself. Even when she couldn't ride anymore, she still polished it every week. It's been sitting there for 10 years. Couldn't throw it away. I maintained it best I could, but I guess nothing lasts forever. I gently put my hand on the seat. It's warm from sitting out in the sun. I suppose that for the few days Suzu was in Akiba, this bicycle existed in two places at the same time. <laughs> Freaky. The house isn't as messy as I expected, considering the state of the Bronte workshop. I guess the chipmunk keeps the, the place clean. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a wave of nausea hits me as I recall what night did it at o Ocha no Mizu Station. Recall what? <laughs> recall a really freaky, terrifying look on her face. When I tell myself that was just an accident, so, even though it was all her stupid fault. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Besides that incident, it was I'd already been undone. Doji and I has not has done nothing wrong. Next to the living room has a, is a child's room. It's a child's study desk and a red backpack on the floor. Nice and here. Which reminds me, Tanoji's daughter visits the workshop often, but once I've seen, but not once have I seen his wife. Couldn't have married Suzuwa, could he? Oh, oh wow, that'd be weird. Oh, that'd be ugh, whoa. I mean, she should have been a lot older than him when they met. As they say, love knows no bounds. I wonder what really happened. I don't know how I feel about it if those two were married. That would make Daro Tanoji's Tanoji's father-in-law. <laughs> Actually, be, that would be kind of interesting. Turn to the Buddhist altar to pay my respects to Suzuwa. There's no picture of her, so there's no n way to know what she does Suzu look like at the age of 44. Made an offering of incense to her, then looked around the house again. So wait, I thought we were going to be going to her like her grave. I, so we're, we just went to Tenoji's house then? This is the house that Suzuwa lived in, oh, after, after leaving to 1975. Now this is her house. This is also where Tenoji and Nai live? I'm a little confused. Oh. When Suzu-san and I first met, we were neighbors. For some reason, Tenoji offers me a, offers me a beer. When I climb, he shakes his head and starts drinking at himself. Am I even old enough to drink? Am I, am I 18? I was born and raised in Europe, you know. Ha! Is that a joke? Got a problem? I mean, know my English and French are perfect. Unlike you, Nico. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up, man! You just shut up! It doesn't look like someone who lived abroad. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. My parents died about 15 years ago. That's when I came back came back to Japan. Or I guess I should say I came to Japan for the first time. Suzu was living alone next door. She looked after me when I had nowhere else to turn. Alright, now's my chance. If I'm gonna ask, it's now or never. And you got married. Huh? Married? To Suzu <laughs> you high? <laughs> what are you high? No! Ooh. I wish you never marry a guy like him. She's a pretty stoic lady. Didn't have much of a social life. But she treated me well. My house burned down about one year after I moved here. It was my It was my smoking that caused the fire, so I deserved it, but still. After I lost everything, she let me come live here with her. I see. Okay, okay. That's not all. The Yoi. The Oyama building where the workshop is at? That was really Suzu-san's property. Eh? Huh? Sold to me cheap. Thanks to her, the Brown Tube workshop exists. You can say she saved my life. I wonder if he has like, a picture of her somewhere. I want to see what she looks like. Once I asked her why she treated me so well, it wasn't like we were related or anything. But she just smiled and said, We all depend on someone's kindness at some point in our lives. When the time comes, you pass the gift along. She was kind of mysterious. She seemed to know exactly how things were going to happen like a prophet. <laughs> it was weird, dude. Sua. It was probably her way of repaying Tenoji for looking after her, even if it was just for ten days. Aw. And so, it came full circle. It's a small world, huh? Never thought I'd meet someone else who knew, knew her. All right, wait, wait here a sec. Tenoji goes into the child's room next door, and then returns to place an object on the table. Ha! Hey! It's as an emergence meter! Fuck yeah! Before the world line will change, it was in the lab. On this world line, Suzuwa brought the meter with her to 1975. It's been in this house for 35 years. 
The tube reads 0.409431%. Divergence's change is like Suzua said. This proves that my match guy, Ring Steiner, does indeed allow me to perceive changes in the world line. What does 0 .0 me mean? I recall what Suzua said. When the meter reaches over 100, reads over 1%, you mean to the beta world line. Does that mean I'm still in the alpha world line? Do you know what that number means? I sure don't. All I know is it hasn't changed a bit these 10 years. <laughs> and the batteries never seem to run out on this thing. But you know, when Suzanne was on her deathbed, she used to stare at that meter for hours. Eh? She used to stare at that meter, talking to herself. Is, th is this the old number? The new number? Did it work? Did it change? Stuff like that, day in and day out. It hurt to watch. Oh. I touched the device. Suzuha. My heart, I reach out to the girl who died ten years ago. To the girl who will be born seven years from now. To the girl across time to save the future. Suzuha. Thanks to you, Miuri is safe. Divergence has changed. We haven't yet reached our, your ultimate goal. 1% divergence. Most as to you, the future you dreamed of will become reality. I'm confused. I really, I thought, wasn't there a point that we said that the only way to save Miuri was also to get to 1% divergence? To get to the the beta world line in this world line mirror is always gonna die maybe now it's maybe it's just been delayed maybe it's still gonna happen then I I'm a little unsure I could have sworn that's what we said I'll carry on your fight Suzua I promise I realize that I'm crying don't she stares at me for a moment and puts this giant hand on my shoulder it's okay little buddy Yay! You're, you're still here. It's the 14th and you're still here. Yay! <laughs> Rhea comes out to the gate, walks up to me with, un, with an, a unhurried stride. Dendro! I didn't think you'd come all the way to the station to pick me up. You should surprise. I wouldn't want my hostage to get away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. So is really happy. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love you, Miriam. I'm so glad you're not dead. <laughs> Quite understand, but whatever. <laughs> Mary flashes a carefree smile and then walks ahead of me, almost skipping. So what's in the bag? Mr. Braun, give it to me. It's a device that can measure the divergence of world lines. Wow, that sounds amazing. What's a world line? <laughs> I smile wryly. Mary, you really are a dummy. <laughs> what am I doing? After I left Tenoji's house, I called Mira to ask when she would arrive in Akiba, then I went to the station to pick her up. Anxiety still smolders in my heart. We managed to survive yesterday, but that doesn't guarantee our safety forever. It's entirely possible for Moika to attack now in the afternoon of the 14th. And being overprotected, but I still can't shake the image of Miri's death from my mind. <laughs> Miri's death is from my mind, I should say. I don't want ever to, ever to, I don't ever want to have to go through that again. She's a thought, Miri, but don't you think maybe you should stop by coming to Akiba for a while? At least it'll go come in my ends. No response. I look to the side. Miri! Ah! Panic, I scan the area, I get side of her wand towards the newly open shaped ice stand. Ooh, look at this! I did. Can you tell I'm where well worried I am? You get back here, little So you're the devoted type, huh? Chris is glaring at me with a nice coffee at hand. We're in the lab, which appears to have become her second home. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? She's at the computer, searching for intel on the IBM 5100. Still don't know where it is. I went to Yamabashi Shrine this morning, but alas, it wasn't there. Oh! What? <laughs> that is really confusing. I don't know what's going on anymore. Has anyone just played this game like... I'm wondering, like, do you all, does everything get answered? Is there, like, shit that's just, like... That just kind of happens and that doesn't get explained? Like, like, does this make sense to somebody? Like, why I was here before but not later? And then... Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So we promised that I'd get one to us somehow. Or gifted to us from 1975. That or we can't hack into CERN's database, I meaning we can't achieve divergence over 1%. All of a sudden, you're treating me you're like a princess. <laughs> then you went to the station to meet her, you tasted, you taste tested her lunch, and then you held, you held her hand all the way back to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I love Miuri. Fuck you. <laughs> Who doesn't love Miuri? Miuri's awesome. <laughs> Okuri <laughs> Oka really, really loves me, usually. <laughs> oh, oh my god. She's so adorable. I can't stand how adorable you are! Oh my god! Oh my god. You're like my favorite person in the whole wide world. She 
She tapped a terrible Karisu hall, and of all people. <laughs> her looks so carefree as she stuffs her cheeks with taki Takiyaki. Pretty sure she's smiling, not because of my love, but because of the Takiyaki's deliciousness. Do go Miri. Seriously, did you have to tell Karisu? So what's the deal? Are you two boning or something? That's just weird, dude. I, I don't follow. Are you a couple or what? I've been mean to ask. Do we look like a couple? Oh, <laughs> uh, um, oh, uh, well, um. <laughs> so what sort of delusions does this girl have? <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> you know, Ukri and Yushi have been friends since we were little. <laughs> what? What? My baby's really a woman now. <laughs> I'm not with your mouth full. So you're not a couple. Oh, well, of course. No one would willingly date a copy after all. <laughs> you just want me, Christina. Huh? What are you talking about? You have finally really revealed your true nature. Sorry, I slipped the hint of first into romance. You're nothing but a filthy mainstream girl. <laughs> I bet you like to eat chocolate with your girlfriends and get live out the latest celebrity love affair. Absurd. This time is no needed of the puppies and flowers in your head. It's so strange to be spewing this Jinryu nonsense again after what I've been through. Yeah, is my innocence lost forever? <laughs> I like how he's sort of becoming more he's becoming more self-aware of that that stuff, you know. What the hell are you are you on about your self-proclaimed mad size Jinryu nutcase? A long time since I argue with a crazy like this too. Thought brings a sudden pang of loneliness. But failing to say Miri, I sought help from this genius girl. Even though her words are were at times harsh, she supported and encouraged me to the end. But now, that all that has vanished along with the time we spent with Zazua. Thank you for your help, Karisu. Oh, yeah, we kind of missed our bonding moment. Now we're back to being doodles again. I silently give her my sincere gratitude, and then continue to insult her. Lulu, Lulu. Finish typing on the X68000's keyboard and sigh, and then turn to the divergence meter sitting on the shelf. Splayer reads, booty 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 booty. What does that mean? The universe like this PCR. Dallas blasts with war lines like side by side, branching out to infinity. When the meter reads over 1%, you've made to the beta world line. If you escape the alpha attract field and reach beta world line, then the result will change. Reach 1% divergence, and you'll save Sheena Miyuri. See, that's, yeah, see, that she did say that. That means she isn't safe. Ooh. Oh, God, yeah, Akaba's gonna be... Is he's gonna be like just like <laughs> following her everywhere probably? Then does that mean I haven't saved her? Or is it still less than one percent? This world's still converging on Miyuri's death. It can't be. It can't be. I mean, nothing happened yesterday. Mary's here, same and sound. Yeah, I thought it meant that. It, so it means it's. I guess it means the convergence has moved. But there's still. It's still gonna have a convergence at some point. Just been delayed, I guess. I. I thought, regardless, it would, like, unless it, the divergence reached, uh, 1%, the 1.0, it would always happen at that same time, that that day, but it seems that it, it can be delayed as well. Something will happen to her. It won't. I want to believe that, but the doubt within my heart is growing thick and thick and black. I hardly think about anything else now. My heart I stare at it, the number on this meter doesn't, doesn't change a digit. So far, reading Steiner is only activated after he sent past changing D mails. Boy, but what about when I time leap? Vertigo I feel when I leap time leap might be caused by reading Steiner. Or maybe it's a side effect of the memory transfer. It's possible to know. In case I prepare for the worst. I've already set the time leap machine's timer to send my memories three hours into the past. With Tara's help, I found a remote. I found a remote for the 42 and CRT downstairs. Our previous film wave, name so changed, experiments made a hole in the floor. Instead of fixing a hole, I made it bigger. <laughs> the 42 C 42 and CRT is right under the hole, so if I point the remote wrote at the hole I press and press the power button the TV turns on oh that's cool awesome so now I don't have to break in there anymore now should things go wrong I can type leave at a moment's notice and I also have a future gadget number four mode snake on hand in case of emergency so I can fucking shoot people wait was that the is that the gun or was that the the dehumidifier or humidifier I don't know Akabe reason into the development room didn't you say we were go we weren't going to experiment with the time leap machine? This is just in case. In case what? I don't want to answer that. Keep praying that my fears will not be realized. It's okay. Everything will be okay. I don't know. I feel like I should at least tell Karisu and Daru about what happened and all this shit. Although they probably... Well, I don't know. I, Karisu would probably believe me if I said the fork thing, right? 
They didn't attack yesterday, so they won't attack today. Or at least we changed Miuri's fate. But still, I can't help but pray. Please, uh, Miuri, be safe. Please don't let anything happen. Please, for the love of God, no more soul-crushing feels. My prayers go un unanswered. Oh, God dang it. Don't say that. Oh, A-Team's here again. Do -do -do. Door slams open, motherfucker. I'm in person in the lab. Recognize them, the rounders. They aim their, gun their guns at us, I freeze. Spirit sees my heart, my worst fears have come true. It's happening exactly the same as before, and this time Sue isn't here to save us. Oh, fuck, that's right. What do we do? Hands in the air, nobody move. Even the dark-skinned man's words are the same. Eventually, the unpleasant clacks of heels echo down the hall. I'm going to wake us up. Wait. We're taking the time machine. I'm going to kill Miuri and blah, blah, blah. You know what? You know the deal. Press my terror and grab Miuri's arm. Don't move. Kuru cut man says something he has, hasn't before. Kisa, Kurisu, Akabe, and Tara, Shida, Tara, three of you will come with us. You cannot resist, for I am Moika, and I talk weird. Come with us. You have nowhere to run. We have had stations throughout Akibara. What do I do? Should I use my concealed mode snake right now? Use it, and then time leap. Mira hasn't been killed yet. Stan, she might not be killed on this world line. And I think of that. Hey, you! Crew cup man points his gun at me. Heartbeat jumps up. Cold sweat breaks out all over my body. Sit hands in the air. I've only raised my left hand. My left. What are you hiding? I have to use it. Swallow my fear and activate mode snake. Oh, yep, yeah, it was this, that one. White smoke instantly fills the room, rendering it impossible to see. The rounders won't be able to aim through this. I have to let time leap while it lasts. Grab Mary's hand and fumble through the smoke towards the development room. Shoot them! Slay them all! Ah! Ah! The sounds of gun, gun, guns firing wildly behind me. Oh my god, dude, we shot! Ah! <laughs> Okabe, you bastard, you sacrificed me! Ah! Ah, uh, suddenly Mira's arm gets heavy. Damn it! Drip forward and land on my face. Mir. Our hands were separated in the fall. Grip around, Fizzer find her slender hand. Oh, God. Mira's feeble whisper reached my ear. She hit? Rounder's blind shot hit me, all right? Fucking what is the cause of that? <laughs> Mira's hit her and nobody else in the room. It hurts. Mira's voice quickly fades away. Strength drains from her fingers. Mira, come on, get up! Mira doesn't answer. I'm sorry, Miri. Once again, I failed to save you. I thought I'd succeed, but I was wrong. I'm gonna keep grinding my head. I'm sick of this shit! Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh, shoot me, dude! Don't <laughs> no, shoot me, bro! The cursing door screaming as the gunfire continues. God! Sharp pain flares at the top of my head. Ooh! Press down with my hand. It comes away, it comes away soaked with blood. Ah! It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It's like someone took a saw to my skull. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh. I, I think there was a time I actually did get like raised or something. Was it in the arm or the head or something? But did this actually go through my head? So if it did, is that gonna like damage my brain and then that's gonna get sent back to the past and fuck me up a bit? My ears are ringing. I stumble, I can't stand up straight. I need to get to the timely machine. So we're gonna limp head one last time, then crawl to the development room, fumble for the headgear and put it on. Put the remote at the hole and press the power button. Good thing I got that fucking remote control. The TV on the turns on downstairs. I can hear people laughing on the screen. Target A, target C secured. Run, copy, run! Shit! I coach my f fists in frustration. Time to she's already activated. It's George Madonna starting. Where begins to shake. Once again, I leap to the past. <laughs> Don't shoot me while I do this! Okay. Jesus, what did, I, what did I do? Go three hours back? Maybe a little further back than that? Ha! Or collapses and reforms. Once again, I feel the odd numbness behind my eyes. Pain's out my head is gone. I just throw off my brow and look around. I can't see most snake vapor anymore. The air is clear. Reese is reading a western book like usual. Miyuri is playing a handheld game while eating a banana. Nom, nom, nom. Dar wasn't here. I recall he said he was going out somewhere. Mir. Let me swallow my words. Okuri, you want a banana too? When I wave my hand, no. Maria tilts her head quizzically and goes back to her game. 
I sing in the sofa and close my eyes. As my eyes are a scream in frustration. I have to think. I erased our memories of Suzu. I changed the world line, but it wasn't enough. The Virgin meter still reads 0.4%. How do I get it above 1%? Wait, if I try to solve the problem alone, I'll just send it the same way. I need to consult Kurisu. Kurisu, come with me a second. I'll lead her out of the lab. And we do it again. Which, I mean, we make babies. No, no, not that. We sit on the bench in front of the, the building. Sue's so bicycle still absent. What is it? You don't normally say my you don't normally say my name normally. Grisha frowns at her own words. That came out weird. <laughs> Please help me. Now this is a shock. Now I hear those words from you. Do you have a fever? Uh. Okuri, where are you going? A date with Chris John. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Jealous? You want to go on a date with me? <laughs> Sure, it's gonna date me, Yuri. I love you, Mary. We can go. I would totally date me, Yuri. He's awesome. Do you have a fever? No jokes. I seriously need your help. You timely, didn't you? I nod. How much? How much do you know? How much do I know about what? About Suzuka being John Teeter. Huh? Rusa gives me a blank stare. It never even occurred to me. Oh yes, and you're Curry Gohan Kamehameha. And yes, I know he's your husband, though. I, I, I didn't say that. I, I, fine. You're right. You're right. I admit it. He's my husband, though. He's awesome. I want to make babies with him. I'll make little Super Saiyan babies. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to know that. <laughs> Revenge Suzu from leaving August 9th. He ended up staying until August 13th. The outcome was changed by my last email. What happened during those four days on this world line? He finished the time leap machine. We talked about fishy yesterday after an old nighter, remember? What did you leave from? 8 p.m. tonight. Looks like I'll have to explain everything all over again. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got another eight. I got another message. Hmm. <laughs> I want to go on a date. Would you rather go to Shambo or Kitchen Jiro? <laughs> Aww. I want to. Let's go. Yay. Hmm. Told her about Miuri's many deaths and about what happened with Suzuha and Moeka. Also gave a summary of what Suzuha told me about the structure of the universe. Risu does not appear to doubt my story. So basically, you win if you get the IVN 5100 back. Risu sums up what I told her. It's just a guess, but maybe you should look at what Imani saw said from the opposite angle. I think the critical change takes place when you get the IVN 5100 to erase the, da the data in CERN's database. That instant is most likely when you'll achieve divergence over 1%. The problem is where the IVN 5100 is now. I've already found it once, that is, if, you, if your memories are real. If you can go back to the world line where you first obtained it, then isn't it bound to return to you? I see. You're right. The IBM 5200 was at the lab, and then it suddenly disappeared. You threw a fit about that earlier. I remember thinking, oh god, Akabe's finally lost his ability to distinguish fantasy from reality. You're such a... You're such a, want, you're such a wannabe American. Why do you mean, oh god, oh... Oh, I get it. Chris, Chris, Chris John is Christian. <laughs> what? Because that's American thing? <sighs> I'm just like, I'm sort of, I'm not really insulted, just sort of baffled by some of these, like, when he keeps bringing up, like, American stereotypes or something, like, it's more like, is it really, like, like, I don't know. It's like stereotypes, I don't even really know we we're stereotypes about Americans. Risa looks at me in disdain as soon as those words leave my lips. That's terrible. I regret it, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's no time for puns. So, Christine, let me see if I understand what you're saying. The change we made to the world line, namely of all the emails we sent, must be reversed. That will return us to the world line where I found the IBM 5100 in Yanabayashi Shrine. From my experience so far, I'm confident the IBM 5100's disappearance from the lab wasn't due to theft. After all, I was sleeping at the lab, and whenever I wasn't around, another lab man was. The lab was occupied every hour of the day. It would have been impossible for someone to steal that heavy computer without anyone noticing. It makes more sense to assume that a D-mail caused us to diverge from the world line where I found the IBM 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine. I think it's going to be... It's either Ferris's D-mail... Or Mawaka's email. It's one of those. Still a hypothesis. I only came to that conclusion based on your explanation. If you're mistaking your facts, deceiving me, or shooting off delusions, then this hypothesis will fail. Sister Amai has no confidence in me at all. You can't just blindly follow this hypothesis either. You must have a safety net, but if you get careless and leave yourself without a way out, then you'll never get another chance to save me, Yuri. I know that. 
and asked for Suzuka's opinion too, if she were here, but on this world line, she traveled in 1975 on the night of August 9th. There's no way I can speak to her now. Why did the IBM 5100 disappear? What did the D-mails cause its disappearance? Figure that out, and you're well on your way to finding the solution. What I don't understand is how we delay the timing of Miri's death exactly 24 hours. True, that is interesting. Maybe it's related to the change in divergence. It could be the butterfly effect. If that's the case, any trivial change could produce a significantly deviant result. Anyway, it's important to act with discretion. Don't do anything careless. Your death, Akabe, is the worst thing that could possibly happen. You're probably the only person who can remember previous world lines. If you die, then consider Miyuri good, dead for good. Don't die, okay? You're not worried about me, are you? What? Don't be ridiculous. Why should I care? I'm not worried about you, okay? Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> Soon Dere John is here to do the thing that we all love her to do. I just want to lose a valuable test subject, that's all. Yeah! Pretty years to accumulate memories spending world lines of time leaves. It's a precious sample that can rewrite the history of new neuroscience. I want to map your brain and find out what's going on in there. In other words, your time leaping helps me too. After all, the time leaping machine is the fruit of my research, so to speak, and I. Calm down. <laughs> research turns away with a sour expression. I'm not so daring! So, as this mind can be difficult sometimes. Anyway. Consider a hypothesis. In order to return to the world line where I found the IBM 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine, we need to cancel all the D meals we sent so far. The theory is sound, and I've got nothing else to go on. To the clock, 6:42 p.m. <laughs> so you're saying the first 30 hours of this game were totally pointless? Fuck me. <laughs> Only one hour until Moika's raid. Sadly, so time leap once more to the afternoon of the 13th, just before the time leap machine is completed. Christina, I'm going to give this plan of yours a shot. Oh, great. Dick raised his hand and grasped it firmly. Ah. You've been a great help. Sorry for the trouble. D -d -d don't apologize, dummy. It's confusing. And besides, I don't even remember helping you before. How are you going to take responsibility for this? She's getting mad at me. I don't understand her. Just don't understand her at all. You need to take responsibility, so get over here and make out with me! <laughs> Is that what they always say right before they like, start making out? Like, you gotta take responsibility! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wish I could remember, too. Then I'd always have something to rub your nose in. You really have an awful personality. I want to talk. <laughs> Can we go back to doing what Nico was fantasizing about and just have him make out? Oh, fine. <laughs> this time that's going to change anyway. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I leaked 28 hours into the past. Woo! And back we go! Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes again. And I'm back. Time leak complete. Staying in the lab as usual. Brain feels like it's been pinched. I know the pain as I check my watch. Four, it's 1.47 p.m. Chris is almost done with the time leak machine. Miyuri is almost done with Lukaku's costume. They should be done in about 10 minutes. I leave the lab and sit on the bench in front of the Braun Tube workshop. Let's go over the plan. Yeah, so all the emails have changed the past so far. Of course, that includes emails sent by other people other than me. Specifically, I'm only concerned with emails that triggered reading Steiner. Since several of them as experiments, for example, Operation Erd Stage 2, the Lot of Six experiment involved one such email. The real problem is what other people sent. Yuri and Kreese, who haven't sent any emails. Daro sent his past several strategy to win Ferris Cup, but reading Steiner didn't activate, so divergence must not have changed. That leaves three emails to deal with. Those sent by Moeka, Lukaku, and Ferris. Uh, that means we're, oh no, it means we have to change Nakaku back into a boy again. And then my feelings, now my feelings will have to return to being confused once more. The most problematic one is the one Ferris sent, which is the most, it's also the most recent. I have no idea what it said, and it, so I don't know how to cancel it. There is this email that causes a dramatic change to Akiba. All the Moe stores disappeared. That's my only hint. I'm the one who remembers how things were were before the change, so I can't won't get an answer from Ferris even if I ask her directly. But I still have to, but still, I have to at least try. I should get in touch with her. But let's just try contacting her by phone or mail. Being face to face would be best, but May Queen doesn't exist on this world line. Me and I have to go to that Kai class apartment complex. Alright. Uh. Address book. Uh. Ferris. Ferris, where are you at? Queen tone echoes in my ears. It's not connected. Damn! Stab. I stab the end button and open my, my mailbox. Right, Ferris and mail. 
Please respond. It's a copy. I wish to make babies. Surgeon, contact me. There's no time. Just give it to her straight. I send it. For words, I sit and stare at the screen, waiting. I already tried sending three mails and calling four or five times, but 30 minutes passed without a single response. Unable to have my frustration, I storm off towards Ferris's apartment. Damn it. Holy sweet mother of God. Arrive at the tall apartment building soaked in sweat. I've been running an awful lot lately. Maybe it's made me realize how how out of shape I am. <laughs> ah, I wish I wish that worked out more. Maybe this all works out in the end. I'll send a DML to the past and tell myself to, uh, you know, if I don't care anymore. <laughs> this complex is an automatic lock, so I have to call it from the lab lobby in intercom. Enter the number for Ferris's apartment. A man's calm voice soon replies. May I ask who's calling? Turn me the voice. It's not Ferris's dad, but her butler. Um, my name's Sakabe. I'd like to speak with, Fe I mean, Ramiho-san. I regret to inform you that the young mistress is currently out. Then wh where is she now? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. You may be someone with whom she does not wish to interact. I've been here before, remember? Of course, sir. However, I still cannot disclose the location of the young mistress. Please contact her directly. I was obviously trying to end the conversation, so I panic to get the last word in. Please wait. I I've been trying to get in touch with Ferris, but she's not returning my calls or emails. Then please try again some other time. Go. Frustrated by this new turn of events, my anger threatens to boil over. Damn it, flexible geezer. I leave the lobby. Oh, man. May Queen plus Neon Square doesn't exist in this world line. Ferris isn't responding to my calls or emails either. Where could she be? Underneath the incandescent heat of the sun, I suddenly get an idea. Dar, if anyone knows where Ferris is, it'll be that stalker of hers. Of course. Come on. That's meant to call. Dar, you better pick up, you little fuck. Yeah, Ocarine. Hmm? It's awfully noisy on the other end of the phone. But I don't care about that. Dar, you have to know where Ferris is right now. Ferris, Don? I need to talk to her right now. Right now? That's not gonna happen. Oh, he's she's in the middle of a tournament, right? Just tell me where she is. You keep tazzing her all the time, don't you? I know where she is, sure. Where? Where is she? In the UPX assembly hall. UPX. I look up. <laughs> I, I'm standing right in front of UPX. Why the assembly hall? Today's the finals of the Ryanet ABG, ABGC. Ryanet ABGC? Sure for Ryanet Axis Battlers Grand Champion, duh. It's the finals, man. Ferris is participating. First time's the winner of this year's winner GC. She's so defending a champ, just so you know. She's in the finals. Mere two is spectating. The match's already started, man. So that's why. Man, they're now. What floor? You have a ticket? No, but I'll manage. I don't know, man. Security's pretty tight. Someone posted threats on that channel. Pretty sure you're not getting in. <laughs> Fuck you! And, and you come out. I'm in front of UBX. Can you lend me your ticket? No way. It'll end at four, so you can just wait. Can you just wait till, till then? Hey! Dar! 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 Dar. Flexible bastard! <laughs> Everybody's so inflexible. Looks like I don't have a choice. All I can do is wait like Darrow suggested. Four tons of people spew out of the building. Most likely parents with children, but there are also men and women in their 20s and 30s. It's like a wide customer base. Some people are dressed in cosplay, and others are carrying right night good goods and paper bags. They're the ones you'd expect to be here. I should try calling Ferris again. The match should be over. Ferris. <laughs> Why would she pick up? Frustration peaks. I tell myself to calm down, but it doesn't work. One obstacle after another, I'm on the verge of losing it! He's back and forth, and so I watch the exiting the crowd. I try calling Dar again, but now he's not answering. So I don't have a choice. Excuse me. Heard several men gathered near the UPX entrance. They've got tattered leather jackets and excessive silver accessories. Not the sort of people like I usually hang out with. Do you know where the Rhinet champion Ferriston is? <laughs> ah! Whoa, what the? Ew! Dude, dude, oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, that guy's freaky looking. Dude, are you like a skeleton man? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what? What What do you want, douchebag? I'm gonna get this guy a committed voice, because fuck it. This son give me a dangerous look. Run it, champion Ferris, son. <laughs> you guys hear that? Man tells the grin of the, uh, oops. Other men of his, members of his posse. Snobby, unpleasant laughter resounds. I start to rest my anger. If you know them, please tell me. Now, now the, the man directs his grin towards me. Man who seems to whisper to Gaia to shine more. W what? 
What, your friend of the former champion? Champ? Former champ. Puzzling this out, the man suddenly steps right up right by my face. This thing smashes my forehead. Stars explode behind my eyes. What the fuck? Falling in my back. It's hard about my brows. I have a branding iron was pressed to it. The coolie fades to, to a dull, dull throbbing. Realizes that the nutcase headbutted me. What the hell? Why would he do that? Did I do something to this guy? Or is he a Ferris hater? Staggered on my feet. This is still fucking insane. Man stoops to pick up his hat, which fell off when he headbutted me. He seems to be stuck in doing a permanent peace sign with his fingers or something. Or a gun sign. I don't know what he's doing. That's when I see it. Right on top of his head, there's a small space devoid of hair. There's no way I can miss that. Oh. A bald spot. Man with ball off who seems to whisper to guy to shine. Or <laughs> why would he whisper to guy to shine? <laughs> Sorry, but you asked for it. It made my dirty heart ache to hear you call that pussy a champion. Get it? Don't you ever call a disgusting cat girl a champion to my face again? Unless you want your body so frozen by yours truly. The king of the streets. The one and only black absolute zero. Four degrees Celsius. Word, bro. What the hell is this guy talking about? Are you high? Of course I'm high. God. He's obviously living in his own stupid world. The name's Four, four Degrees Celsius. That's Cheeto you, Cheeto, you get me? I'm the strongest, the coolest rider to ever rule the streets of Akiva. Nobody comes close. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, I had to ask this guy. <laughs> Could have to ask a normal person. Did you know dry ice is so cold it burns? Burns. It's not burns, frostbite. What? I point out the scientific truth. The man with the bald spot and his lackeys get pissed. <laughs> don't look good. I don't have time to get into a fight. So I had to stage a tactical retreat. Ah, fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's great, Nalbo. What's that behind you? Then run. <laughs> Just pull a Marty McFly on them. And where they go, they send me all and ask to stab at Ferris. No luck. Try to join Dar again. He says, maybe she went home already? In a bummed out voice. So I guess she lost. She must be bummed. Return to Ferris' apartment and ring the inter intercom again. The butler responds once more. May I ask who's calling? It's Akabe. Eh? Has, has Romeo Sam returned? Just a moment. Sounds like she's home. Intercom goes silent for a while. And the door's on. Automatic locks open, allow me inside the elevator hall. Please come up, sir. The young mistress will see you. I give him my thanks and hurry into the elevator. Sweet. About fucking demon time. Hey! Oh, she looks sad. She must have lost. Butler guides me to the bedroom where Ferris is sitting on the sofa hugging her knees. She doesn't look up even don't look up even when I approach. Ferris, finally! There's something I need to ask you. Yeah. She looks exhausted, like all the life has been drained out of her. I've never seen Ferris like this. What happened? You look down. This can't be happening, yeah. Why did Ferris have to lose, Nya? If only this guy hadn't used underhanded tricks on me, Nya. They ganged up on Ferris. I have brought Papa by when he's probably disappointed in me, Nya. I'm too ashamed to show my face, Nya. What'd she say? No, wait. I think I get it. I recall what happened after Ferris's final match of the Ryanet Championship. That leather clad asshole called me the, her the former champ. I guess I mean she lost. That's why she's depressed. I feel bad for Ferris, but I don't have time to deal with this. Listen, Ferris. Ferris blinks her eyes repeatedly when I, then I, when I grab her by the shoulders. But her eyes are glazed and empty of light. A couple of days ago, you used the time machine we invented to send a D mail. Do you remember that? Yeah. I knew it was useless, but I had to ask. Ferris doesn't remember. In fact, from her perspective, it never happened. How do I explain? Let's say, for example, there used to be tons of stores for anime and taku here in Akiba. And let's say you used a time machine and changed the, that Akiba into an electric town. It's, it, it is today. How would you do that? I know it's a really cryptic question, but I can't think of a better way. Time machine? Ferris remembers with a blank expression on her face. Oh, no. Now she's going to want to use it again. No. <laughs> Forget it. Time machine? She used the same phrase. Ferris' eyes gradually regain their brightness. And then all at once... Kiyoma. Ah! <laughs> she's pressed up against me. Mmm. Let's get naked and let me use your time machine, yeah. Fuck you, we did it once already. Not doing it again. Oh, what? She smells. <laughs> she smells good. <laughs> Her cat ears tickle my nose. I go stiff. <laughs> okay, for a split second I thought you said I got stiff. I was like, ah. Stiff, not knowing what to do about this sudden turn of events. Her looks up at me. She looks so desperate. I feel my heart pounding faster. 
Is it a real time machine, yeah? Yeah, it's real. No, we're not letting you use it. You already fucked up everything before once. It's going to be even more intense. Like, she's trying to see the inside of my soul. I believe in you now. Yeah. I get the feeling she's believing me way too easily. She suddenly starts clutching her, cl clutching her head. Uh, I'm about to remember, yeah. Huh? Ferris remembers using the time machine, yeah. What? Really? She's kind of... She's really manipulative, isn't she? I... I'm starting to like her less and less. I... She's, she's gonna want me... She's trying to convince me to probably to, to use the time machine so she wins the tournament. Oh, Ferris got on the time machine and it went zooming. But you, you didn't... You didn't write anything. You said email of the past. Yeah, no, I said I'm starting to remember more and more, yeah. Harrison holds her head and, and looks at me with tears in her eyes. Ugh. I'm not liking Ferris any, that much anymore. She's pissed me off. My head hurts, Nia. Yeah. What's going on here? Is Ferris have Ringsteiner too? Oh, come on, man. Don't fall for her stupid bullshit. I don't know. I need to find out, but how? Come down. I need to think. Do I contact Risu, or should I? Ferris's. Ferris's. I'm going to call Carisu. Fuck it. I can't. Damn it. Harris can use to cling, and all I can do is hold her warm, soft, slender body in my arms. <laughs> Giggity again. <laughs> he's like, this when, he get, when he gets close to the girls, he's like, warm, soft, slender, sexy, oh my god. Ah, uh, girls. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Testosterone. I need to make her remember somehow. My brains are turning to mush now. Hang in there. Is there anything I can do? If I win, if I win, I might remember now. Oh, come on. Win, win what? Today's match, yeah, I guess I'll fire all the attackers, yeah. I lost because they're underhanded tricks, yeah. Now my head is all mushy, so I can't remember anything, yeah. No, come on, man. I'm so... Kyrie's going to do it because he's so fucking stupid. Oh, because... The whole point of the doing this is to go back and undo what I did, not to add more shit to the pile. Please, Kima, I think that if I win the match, I'll remember everything, yeah. So please, now, let me use the time machine. By the way... By the way, this is an act, right? An act? What do you mean, yeah? Don't tell me she just wants me to use the time machine to win a ride net match. So your personality, so that's exact. That's actually pretty likely. After all, this girl, this girl twists men around her fingers. You're awful, yeah. And Ferris starts crying into my chest. And the Ferris is trying her best just to remember for you. They call me a liar. It hurts, yeah. Ah, no, I'm sorry. Ah, fucking hell. Air emerged from the corners of her eyes. I have no idea what to do in this situation. During my tears, I don't think she's lying. There's really no basis of theory that she'll remember if she wins the right at tournament. Please, now. Yeah. Fair, fair whispers in my ear. Help Ferris win, ya. Yeah. Me afterward, I feel something warm and wet on my earlobe. Ferris brushes her teeth against brushes her teeth uh, teeth against my ears, sending electricity through my entire body. Wait, wait, I get it, I get it, okay? We pull away from Ferris. I was dangerous, I'm exploded. <laughs> in my pants. Okay, Ferris, we'll do it your way. No! <laughs> my insides hurt! Why can't I make the decision here? I want to shake the comment and be like, No, stupid, no! <sighs> this was a bad idea. I don't like, I'm still really not liking Ferris now. Like, she just, I mean, it was like, it was cute at first, but now she's just like, and I, I just, I'm gonna fucking guarantee you I'm gonna do this. It's just gonna fuck things up more. And I'm gonna go try to talk to her and she'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about, yeah! You know, I mean, of course she's not gonna fucking remember. I don't even know why I'm going and talking with her about this. For reunion? Yeah, yeah I need to remember whatever it takes. Ferris tries to throw her arms around me, but I quickly admit, get out of my way! Faces dives into the sofa awkwardly. Yeah, what did, why'd you dodge, yeah? Um, you're being way too familiar. Not good at dealing with Ferris. She's using me here, I'm sure. I'm being tricked, aren't I? Yes! Yes! Shake my head. Even so, I have no choice to help right her win the tournament. Oh, come on. I'm so... Ah! Try anything that could possibly yield results. As long as I keep doing that, I'm just find a solution eventually. Or I'll just fuck up the world line more and screw myself. I have to believe that. Going late this morning, give you some advice that will allow you to win. How's that? We're not sending a man yet? A lab is available device for time leaping or sending your consciousness to the past. Awesome, so it's like New Game Plus, yeah! <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Okay, I like that better. 
I like that. Okay, that's a little bit better. I, I instead of saying the email, it's just gonna, instead I'm just gonna jump to the past and then give her some advice or something. That's a little bit better. Don't play long. Whatever you don't play long. So fair, you just go back this morning. You'll solve everything, yeah. You can't. What? Why not, yeah? I can't let anyone else use the time leap machine. No fair, yeah. It's not something that to be used lightly. It's dangerous. Is yet. Is yet to fail once so far, but my luck might not last forever. Sue so lost her memory after traveling back in a broken time machine. Her time machine was different, of course, but something similar could happen with the time leap machine. Considering the time leap machine is low, lo, machines low budget and rough schedule, it wouldn't be surprising if it broke somehow. And there's one more thing: I shouldn't allow anyone else to change the past. My goal is to return to the world line where I've been 1500 with the I've 1500, then use it to escape from Alpha Attractor Field. A few changes made, the better. I'll be the one responsible for changing the past. Trust me, Ferris. Okay, yeah. Okay. Back we go. Zip. And I'm back. How come I'm never like in the bathroom or something? <laughs> Gah. Brace my wobbling feet. As my vision recovers, I check the clock. It's 10.38 a.m. The time leap was successful. According to Ferris, she lost the match due to clear, cleverly concealed inter interference from the opposing team. Ferris told me how to counter that. Her plan... Bring Ferris sunglasses and earplugs before the match, yeah. Then I can ignore the distractions and win for sure, yeah. I wonder if she's right. Now's not the time to doubt. Ferris said she would arrive at the assembly hall around 12. At DPX and be sure to buy sunglasses and earplugs on the way. Okay, this will be interesting. Still half an hour before the turn begins, but there's already a line outside of the UPX. I think there'll be many participants since it's already the finals, but it turns out there's another tournament for the general public at the same time. The opening act, so to speak. Participants, the participants enter the hall through a different entrance than the spectators. I'm at the participant entrance, waiting for Ferris to make her appearance. After about 15 minutes, Ferris appears. So it's right next door to UPX, so she's got a lot of leeway time-wise. I'm sure she'll fucking... I, honestly, I, I'm sure she'll believe him, because she just rolls with all of his crazy shit. She's got cat ears and her mate uniform on. It's strange to see her wearing that uniform despite May Queen not existing on this royal line. Apparently, this is just how she is, I think. Ferris opens eyes open wide when she sees me. Kiyoma, what are you doing here, Nya? I'm here because I wanted to see you. And yeah, are you confessing your love for me? I don't know what to do if you confess right before such an important match, Nya. Don't be ridiculous. Why would I confess to you? You're awfully serious today, yeah? Usually you play long more, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to be hoeing Kyoma today. <laughs> Nurse with the file, so, so I want I want to lift my spirits, yeah. She should look nervous. Please just listen to me, Ferris. It's important for your victory. Important? But you don't even know what the rules are right in, yeah? It's not about the rules or anything like that. What is it, yeah? Bears me with questioning eyes. Better get rid of the goods before I screw this up. Take these with you. Try heading over the sunglasses and earplugs I brought on the way here. Ferris pulls back as if on guard. Kiyoma, that's lame, yeah. How rude. You're supposed to bring nicer presents, like. It's not a present. These are countermeasures. Yeah? Listen good, I came from the future. I I know, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> she knows how. <laughs> Why? Ferris came from space, yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't forget, this fair is now now we're dealing with. I'm not joking around here. I seriously left here from 6 this evening. I know the outcome of today's Rhyna GC try Final. Don't tell me a willing victory for Ferris. No. <laughs> you lose. You suck. Yeah? Ferris frowns. But that's only because of the opposing team interference. So to protect you, I brought these sunglasses and earplugs. Just to try to convince her, but Ferris hangs, just hangs her head. It makes it hard to, really hard to read her expression. Are you listening? I grab Ferris under shoulder. She's shaking. Ferris? Yeah! Kill me, meanie! What the hell? And then suddenly she explodes. It's a very important match for Ferris. How dare you say I'll lose now? You're being mean. Are you a viral attacker spying yeah? No, it wasn't. Look, it wasn't your fault you lost. It's. Yeah, now listen, yeah! Uh oh. Her swift quick to my shins, Ferris turns back to me in a huff. Damn you, cat girl, for once in her life, listen to me. Wait, I said wait. I need you to wait no matter what. I said, like I said, there's no way I can lose now. I don't want you to hear the, I 
I want Nya and those Weezer's ugly guests, Nya. Fancy should be cute at every moment. My fans are counting on me, Nya. Crap, she's getting angry at me now. Ah, uh, you are fucking annoying now, Ferris. Ferris shakes me off and runs to the participant entrance. Not participant, so if she makes it inside, that's the end of it. Please hear me out. Bearing the pain of my shin, I force my way in front of Ferris to stand in her way. Ferris, please. Miori's life depends on it. Someone, someone, come here, Nya. Help me, Nya. Ferris suddenly starts shouting. Oh, fuck me. She grabs the attention of the surrounding participants and spectators. Even step better than the gathering. Ah! Grab talk about Tommy. She can bury his life with this much attention around us. Unless I get Ferris to listen to me, there's no way I can undo her email. Which I do. Uh, you seem to have a lot of attention on your hands, eh, champion? That's the mug voice. I knew it. It's Sergeant Douchebag. Actually, I think about it, his hair looks kind of like Kameda's hair. He could totally be. He could totally be a bulimic Kameda. A tall man dressed entirely in black walks up to us and grin on us. Grit the grin on our face. Where he takes a step, all of his silver accessories jingle. Magali takes off his sunglasses from the face of that guy who gave me trouble before. If not, I'm not mistaken, he called himself Four Doris Celsius or something like that. Ha! <laughs> Swooping down onto the street on the black peacock, the ride at a rail. Thanks, Four Degrees Celsius. That's Shido, you get me? I'm the leader of the rival attackers. The viral attackers. The viral attackers. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh, that's what she was bringing up. That. <laughs> to taste worry. It's, it's where I can buy pocket eat. I will start crying. The sound of it sticking calls me down. I lost it. It would be a big shock. I don't know how to apologize to Granny. I was so relieved. I'm so relieved my pocket is safe and sound. Uh huh. Aw. Used to take naps in her grandmother's lap, didn't you? Aw. It's okay, Mary, but I'm in the middle of something. I'm probably about to die. That's right. The fairest opponent is this match. They're trying to get started a fight now. This guy who headed to the people out of nowhere. He seems to have hate Ferris for some reason. Seriously, you disappoint me, champion. You flirt with the system, but that's just noise to my heart. Yeah, here you are, before the match, soaking in the corrupted love of that worthless man. You put on the ears of a Siamese cap with this, with this duel today. I'll die your white fur of yours, jet black. Gaia has thus whispered. That's the first time he's mentioned Gaia, right? He didn't say that before, and he was saying, like, man who, f who wants... Guy had a shot upon him or something, right? Did he like? How did I figure that out? Did he actually say it? Did I skip a message box by accident? Black cast is a disaster. My black radiance shall outshine your shadow, ushering a new generation of Rinette. Women are already slaves to the living rock mind that is myself. I am so hot, dude. Damn, this guy can't talk. Uh, though I have no idea what he's saying. Paris seems to be thinking the same thing. Why is everything at Paris this way? Yeah, I can't hear myself think. I think, yeah. That said, she quickly tries to enter the hall, but I grab her hand and detain her. Whereas I told you to wait. Pause off! Begging you, please listen to what I'm saying. Hey, don't you, da don't you dare disregard the man closest to the truth of the right net. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Go away. The hell you say? Don't you know I'm the black nobleman of the right net realm? Aren't you the black peacock of the right net realm? Get your story straight. I'm the black peacock nobleman. The <laughs> black peacock nobleman chicken doodly ba doodly. Because black is a symbol of Rinet. Virtual posters all have a blue and white motive. Doesn't look like black is the image color to me. Oh, I get it. You just like to say black. <laughs> you think you're so smart? I'm going to dye that pussy black before the duel even starts. Ew. No. What? Ew. Don't say that. <laughs> Order he sells his apartment with an angry look on his face. But I'm the one who should be angry. Mary's life hangs in the balance. Where is isn't cooperating either. I can't believe this is happening. I gotta get this guy to go away. For a moment's consideration, I decided to face him as Yo in Kioma. <laughs> Fuck this shit! Mad scientist motherfucker time! Ah! You know what will happen if you touch me? Try ice burns! That's frostbite, you idiot! What? I'm telling you to stop messing with Ferris! Save your bullshit for someone who cares! I hear giggles from all around. Ha, <laughs> they're laughing at you, you corrupt pussy Lamont. What the hell's a Lamont? I think not. They're laughing at you, you pathetic peacock with a bald spot on your head. What? How do you know about my untouchable black spot? I've never told anyone about it. <laughs> four degrees Celsius, her face turns red. Elementary four degrees Celsius, Yondo C. I am an insane mad scientist and time trap traveler through time. Nothing escapes the sight of Yo and Kyoma. The name's Shido. Now you've gone too far for the sin of insulting my ultra cool badass name. I'll summon you to my guard in the black hell. Just you wait. Saw sunglasses and leaves. 
So there's payback for the headbutt, you ass. How did you know about four degrees Celsius weak spot, Jan? Nobody's ever seen it. Haven't you been listening? I came for the future, you stupid pink haired doodle! Ha. Huh. So please, Ferris, take this stuff. Just hold on to it, okay? But there's no way Ferris can lose now. You're stronger than them, no question. But you heard him just now. They're obviously not going to play fair. You do anything it takes to win, and even breaks the ride netter code. If you say so. Looks like my desperation paid off. Fucking finally. Ferris reluctantly accepts the two items I present to her. Of course, she doesn't take them out of the bag. I'm just going to hold on to them. Is that okay, Nya? Yeah? yeah, just make sure you have them with you on the stage. I promise you'll need them. Sooner or later, she won't have a choice. Then you better tell me what I want to know or I'm getting pissed off. All right, guys. I think I'm going to here for now. Uh, anyway, like, if you enjoy, subscribe now, become the Pinky Ping one aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.